Hello again, folks. I'm King Blacktooth, and I'm going to play some Injustice as Lex Luthor. I do enjoy Lex Luthor. He's one of my favourite characters, really. So I'm fighting this guy privately for loads of matches because he's a Lobo player, and he's a really good Lobo player at that. So, you know, I've never really fought a good Lobo player, and this is after patch 1.06. So Lobo got some pretty significant buffs. One is to his hook charge. That's improved viability as wake up. Meter burn version has two hits of armor, and it now hits overhead. So I'm trying to anticipate his his rolls there because he likes to roll forward. He's kind of a a mid screen character, I would imagine. Okay, so he's using. Oh, I assume that's the hook charge, the overhead sort of grapple thing that he has. So I'm getting into my combo. I'm going to go into my trait as usual. Back dash. Maybe try and use that interactable. Is probably what I was going for. Oh, and the other change he's got is to his nuclear shells, which you can see him sort of using just a moment ago. He does have them loaded, so I imagine he's going to use them again sometime. He managed to punish my corpse charge there, and that was a low grab, so you'll be seeing a lot of this. You know, that was a pretty decent combo as well. But you'll be seeing a lot of this, because there's a lot of matches here, so I've, I've got time to comment on all this stuff. Okay, so I'm in the corner. He's, okay, how am I getting away? tried to punish him before we got to that, but I never really managed it. Now, I didn't know. I mean, I've only fought him once before we had these matches that I started taping. But his nuclear shells have such a range now. It's, it's crazy how much range he's got. It's like Raven's grab thing. You know, it's, it's pretty much like three quarters of max screen, the distance. So I'm putting on my trait. Should be level three. I'm trying to win, it's not looking likely really. I need one or well probably about two big combos, but he did have clash as well. Okay, so we're gonna start again. I, w I went straight up towards him because the previous time he did just wait, I believe, so I, I tried to dash up and get the low attack, but it didn't work. Okay, I'm looking to see if my trait would finish. It didn't, so I I, I missed the combo. I was waiting for my trait trait to come back on. Okay, I'm backing off a bit. Look at that distance, man. And there's just so much damage. 28% damage just for those two blasts. I'm messing up my combos there a little bit. I, I summary, There we go. So that, that was a bit unfortunate. Okay. What's he going to do? Low grab. Now, I think that was unblockable. I don't know for a fact that it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so you have to, like, jump to get around that. So Lobo, initially, after these sort of fights, I started to see that he's got really, really good high-low mix-up. His wake-up special move is is massively good. His hook charge, that they've changed it to be a good viable wake-up move. That is really, really difficult to deal with because this guy will do it all the time. And you'll see throughout these matches, he'll always do his wake-up hook charge. Well, I'd say like 80% of the time. Let's see. There we go. You know, I couldn't really punish it very easily. Uh, I, I start to find out that I can't really punish it at all if I don't have my armor on. Okay, the first one of those nuclear shells seems to miss me when I was crouching. The second one hit. Okay, so he's got some combo. Oh, good clash because he was getting into his good stuff there. I'm probably going to use two, am I? I'm not sure. Oh, just one. Is it? No, it must have been two, surely. Okay, because I want to save some meter because if I get into a combo, I want to get my damage. Because it's not just the damage for Lex Luthor, it's basically your whole setup. Getting into a combo means you get into your trait, you know, most of the time. That's it's really difficult to punish. And so, I got him with a vacuum cleaner and uh, the gravity pull. I call it a vacuum cleaner. Um, and I really didn't sort of get the thing. He's thrown that out a lot. Okay, managed to get him. With that. So specifically, the nuclear shell buffs were he now loads two rounds into his into his gun instead of one when he uses his character power. His pump shot blasts now have extended range when the nuclear shells are loaded. And when a nuclear shell is loaded, the second meter burn pump shot blast will now have significant damage increase. So again, that uh, what's it called hook charge seemed to have massively high anti-air properties. So there, I couldn't really, couldn't really punish that with my 1-1, one, one, and I think that's my fastest move. Um, I don't know, Corpse Charge would be my fastest move, wouldn't it? But 
Anyway, I want to get into full damage, so I'm really always trying to go for main damage there. And he can punish my corpse charge, so need to be careful about using that. I try not to use it all the time, because I don't want to be punished. Okay, so he's got nuclear shells, and he's going to use them like that. So I need to be careful of that. Oh, okay. I just need a bit more damage. He's got me in the corner. Okay, good. So, he hasn't got any nuclear shells, so I'm trying to anticipate the rolls again. That should be a full combo. Try and use that. I got my trait power, but I decided to go for damage. That should be punished. Okay, only, I think because I had my trait on and he only hit me with the last one, I could have gone into maximum damage there, but I didn't. I just went corpse charge. So, that was a bad choice. Decided to put my trait on instead of doing the corpse charge. And just doing some of this. Now probably put down a mine soon. Or, do, nah, just punish him when he's rolling. Because I'm harassing him with my orbital strikes. Okay, oh, he did some sort of... Some sort of chain move, which was really fast. Faster than anything I did. So, I take notice of that for the next start of a round. Or whatever. So, look at this combo, man. This is awesome. It goes... It ages. 46% damage. I don't know how many EX he used though, or meter, sorry. So he obliterated me on that one. That was really, you know, his high low mix up is insane. So he saw me trying to go for that, and the way you stop that is, is you, um, you get into them. You get underneath the, the water tower. So I'm trying to do some corner combos rather than using the transition. It's a bit slow on that punish there. Okay, I need to get away, but he's not going to let me. He's got, he's got those nuclear shells, so I basically instead trying to bait him to do his rolls. Oh, that was good. First time I've ever seen that. That must be his forward three. Okay, he's still got his nuclear shells, which I'm very scared of at max screen. Oh, it got me. So again, trying to punish the, the roll, and I can't seem to do anything on wake up because of that move. That does 15% damage, and that's pretty, pretty bad. But yeah, those two nuclear shells, um, if he hits me with both, does 28% damage. Again, he did the um, that quick chain move, so I'm probably going to start changing my tactic there in order to try and stop him, you know. Okay, some combos. Damn. Some harassment, sorry. So he's got his nuclear shells again, so from near max screen, I'm, I'm pretty tentative. So I don't know whether it's high low mix up because he's got that low chain as well, hasn't he? Okay, that should be punished. Oh man. You see, he's doing it a lot on wake up and it's it's really quite bad. He's stopping me using my trait and you know, it pretty much negates the trait. I don't think I can get through because if he's meat burned it, which is, I think is the two hits, then it has two hits of armor as well, which is a lot more than I can deal with. Okay, again, trying to anticipate those. Still can't do anything on wake up there. I try not to block because I don't want to get put into the situation because then he'll have sort of neutral game or momentum. Okay, meter burn. Oh, no. Not meter burn. What is it? Push block. Is it meter burn push block? Okay, I'm probably going to use three just to make sure I win by at least one and save some meter for when I, if I get into a combo. Yep, okay. Oh, good. Oh, a bit far away though. Oh, now I left him because I expected the meter burn hook charge so I'm trying to dash back it's not working great and there he sort of baited me to do that thinking he might do it again so I've got a combo to eat okay he's charging it up so try and deal with it oh, it's an overhead isn't it as well oh man oh got away from it though and trying to be safe from these these things these nuclear shells okay man I can't punish that Man, it hits really high as well. You can't seem to neutral jump it either. Okay, so he's probably just going to chip me down. I don't think there's anything I could have done there. Lobo is really good now. I mean, his high low mix up is very, very impressive. Okay, let's see what he does. He does. Was that high into a low there? I think, and that's a low unblockable. So, you know, when you're trying to block all this, he, he does like a grab. Doomsday's got one as well, which is kind of annoying. And he backdashed that. That's pretty hard to do. But the low one doesn't seem to 
give him much in terms of combo potential. It just seems to give him a little bit of damage than a knockdown situation. Whereas the overhead one, I believe, actually that might just knock fewer back as well. So kind of the same. So I've got him pinned down with that. Can't do anything about it, which is a shame. Oh, that's good. Do some. Oh man. So I've got to eat a combo now, I think. Oh, we missed it, which is good. What are we doing? Overhead or low? Okay, punish. Good. So I had the armor on. He only hit me with the last one. So that was a weird choice of combo to do. That must have been stupid. So he's got his nuclear shells. He's using them. So he's backing away there, which is a good idea. Trying to anticipate before he does the nuclear shells. Try and keep him in the range so I can punish him if he tries to do it. Now I should be able to punish him again. Okay, good. Not good. Man. Oh, this is going to be it. Look at that damage. How much damage? 29%. I think because his nuclear shells now increase his... Um, what is it called? Pump shot or something, was it? Yeah, it increases the damage. So I don't know if it increases his back three and forward three because... He still uses his shotgun for them. I'm not sure. Got him with that one. Uh, can't do anything on wake up again. It's such a big deal. Uh, overhead into low. And it goes with the overhead again. So, oh, lucky I didn't... Oh, man, overhead. Pick up into the combo. And he's following me up pretty nicely. I'm finding it very difficult to get away, and that's kind of what I need to do. I need to get away so I can get my get my stuff going. Okay, good. That should be punished. Now, I don't think that was actually punishable by Lex Luthor anyway. Other characters we be able to do it. I think I'm just on the edge of being able to punish it. But I think he was probably pressing a button. So I'm trying to use that as a wake-up move now. You know, just suck him in because now I get a full combo. I never really ever used that as a wake-up move. Okay, good. Oh, I'm at push block. Yes, just enough. Oh, Nan. Nan. Not what I wanted. Some little mistakes here and there. You know, I mean, can't be perfect, but... Okay, probably... Just, I'm not going to... I am going to throw that. And I knew he was just waiting, so there's not much I could do. There's loads I could do. I just played better. Okay. Last fight of this video. Oh, and again, he did the quick one, so... Forward jumping is not the option to deal with that. And punish that. Didn't have any meter for it because he got the first hit. And that should be punished. No, my God. I never seem to actually manage to get in range of something like that. Okay, so I know he wants that. But, good. He can't dash forward that fast. Some very ambiguous stuff going on there. Oh, punished. Okay, so... I've got a bit of space. Let's see what I do. Nothing. This is a bit weird. I don't like this. Okay, that's good. That's got a bit on. Now, punish that. Nope. Overhead, though, so... He was ducking. He does adapt to that pretty nicely. Still got my trait on. You know, so I went just went for the damage. Okay, now, anticipate that because... Okay, punish. Good. Now, I'm going to suck him in, throw him into that, and then continue it. Going to have to go for the damage or the trait there. Oh, sugar. Okay. So, he's got me... Uh, Nuclear shells. Oh, man. Hate it when they tag you away from that. Okay. What's he going to do? I'm not sure. Overhead. So I'm going to clash it straight away. I'm probably going to do... I don't know whether I'll do all four or three. It's going to be three or four. And it's all of them. I wanted some health regen. Okay, so I've put in a little bit of barrier between us with the gravity mine. They're pretty hard to get down, though. Is the problem. I can't just stick them down all the time. But okay. Got one more nuclear shell now. I'm going for him. So I don't want him to get another nuclear shell. Oh, just chip him down. So these Lobo matches, I think it's 5 3 to him so far. I mean, he, he's beating the crap out of me. His high low mix up is very, very difficult and having a lot of trouble with it, really. So thanks for watching. And I'm going to put some more of these up next because we had a lot more fights as well. Um,. So we'll see if we do adapt to things. So it's quite interesting. Thanks for watching.